Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross called Sinook a, quote, bully after years of involvement in offshore drilling in the disputed South China Sea waters. Sinook is the largest oil company in China and one of the largest oil companies in the world. <clears throat> They've been using mobile rigs, one in particular, to bully countries like Vietnam and others on what they call the South China Seas. Well, wow, Chief North Asia correspondent Stephen Engel joins us now. So, of course, Sinuk has been uh, at the centre and part of these territorial disputes for many years now. What are, the, what are the meaningful implications for this blacklisting for the company? Well, keep in mind, there's a number of different blacklists uh, from the United States. There's those from the Pentagon, there's those from Treasury, and there's those from Commerce. Commerce, a blacklist is the entities list, which... Uh, essentially blacklist and also uh, prohibits uh, companies that are on that entities list from accessing sensitive and key U.S. technologies. So that's what this particular move by Commerce and Wilbur Ross, as you just heard his justification for it, will do to Sinook, which is the third largest oil company in China after PetroChina and Sinopec. It is the offshore oil component, the driller. As he said, uh, you know, the alleged ties uh, to bullying uh, activities in the South China Sea. He went on to say that China's reckless and belligerent actions in the South China Sea and its aggressive push to acquire sensitive intellectual property and technology for its militarization efforts are a threat to U.S. national security. So that's the justification of putting uh, Sinook on the entities list, which is stock code 883 here in Hong Kong. The stock has been battered this year. It's down about 40% uh, over the uh, last uh, 365 days, mostly, of course, because of deflated uh, oil prices. But uh, again, Sinook in focus later today. A source telling uh, Bloomberg, however, though, this ban does not apply to the sale of hydrocarbons, such as crude oil, and it also would not affect joint ventures that Sinook has uh, with some Western companies. But still, it's a black mark. Uh, whether it will hold beyond into the Biden administration is yet to be seen. Uh, but we're also hearing the Commerce Department uh, has added another Chinese company, Sky Ryzen, to the military end users list, uh, saying it uh, poses a national security threat. Uh, Ross says its efforts to acquire and indigenize foreign military technologies is a national security threat. This is a company uh, that is owned or a subsidiary of the telecommunications firm Xinwei. Uh, and Sky Ryzen has been known to try to be acquiring uh, military technologies uh, from a key company, a military-backed company in the Ukraine. So there, uh, for the uh, Pentagon, would have some uh, serious eyebrow raising to that company. So it is now on the Commerce Department's, Commerce Department's military end users blacklist. So, Steve, as we learn of other companies being added to the Pentagon blacklist, do we get more insight into how far this goes, what their real intentions are? Well, it's interesting to see what the new companies that they've added, uh, the Pentagon has added to its blacklist. Uh, that is a blacklist that uh, alleges ties directly to the Chinese military and the People's Liberation Army. So we are learning uh, that Xiaomi, which is the handset and mobile phone manufacturer and uh, uh, maker, uh, they have been added to this U.S. blacklist from the Defense Department. Also, of course, uh, we're hearing uh, Comac which is the commercial aircraft maker uh, with definite ties to the Chinese government, has also been listed uh, on the Defense Department's blacklist. Basically, this investment ban, of course, uh, finds or, or, or basically prohibits uh, Americans or forces Americans to divest their holdings in these companies by November 11th. Xiaomi is listed here in Hong Kong. The stock code is 1810. Uh, it is up 179% in the last year. So that is another stock we will need to be watching uh, later today. Comac is not listed, uh, but obviously it is key to the Chinese government's efforts to create a commercial aircraft that will rival Boeing and Airbus in that space.